Welcome to Freshly Foranimated. There has been a lot of interest in patching, so I thought I'd just uh, make a short video to add a few more words about uh, how you can organize your patches. In this case, I would like to demonstrate the technique where we have different frames inside the patch to achieve different overlapping between the elements. If you look at this knee joint here, the way this line overlaps the lower part of the leg suggests that the lower part of the leg is facing away from us. If we move with Kineflex, you can see that uh, this is clearly the case. There is a, a patch that is hard welded to the lower part of the leg. The way it is set up allows us, when we move the leg in the opposite direction, to choose a different frame inside the patch to achieve this kind of overlapping, which now suggests that the lower part of the leg is in front of the upper part of the leg. So it can look uh, natural both ways. You can see it's uh, very natural facing toward us, but if we turn this leg away from us, we don't want this line. We would like to have the other way of intersecting of those lines. So we'll switch the patch by changing its frame and now we'll get this result. So it's uh, very easy to go that way or that way. See the difference. Okay, so let's uh, see how this is achieved. First of all, this is our structure. So we have just a standard rig with two patch elements hard welded to the lower part of the legs. I will drag this leg away now so that we can study it better. And let's, let's see. When it's uh, stretched, the patch is invisible. When we go this way, let's move the patch away now. At the moment, we're seeing frame two of the patch. Let's go inside and look at what's uh, inside the patch. So on frame one, we have almost uh, a duplicate of the actual element without the circle. The circle's been hidden. So this is what this leg consists of. The actual leg element has the circle. First frame of the patch is the same thing without the circle and the second frame of the patch only has this line in fact uh, there is actually a fill which uh, has zero percent alpha so this is just a zero percent fill i prefer to have it like this because it's still clickable with kineflex so I can uh, make sure that I can select the patch very easily and switch its uh, first frame. When the patch covers the lower leg, nothing is visible. But when these two are snapped here, we get this intersection here. So this is the first frame of the patch. If we go again inside the patch, this is what we see here. The second frame does not have this outline and does not have the fill. So it will reveal the line from the thigh. So if we switch this patch to its second frame, see what happens. So this is how a patch like this can work. And this is very handy, obviously. When you animate a walk cycle or uh, any kind of posing, really, you can Let's imagine that this leg straightens like this and goes like this. And at this point, when there are no intersections, you just in a key, you just switch to frame two of the patch and you can keep going. And then you get this result. 
and if you would like to just change it in the middle of a movement you just again dial a different frame in the patch and this is what you will get Freshly Flanimated animated. 